her name and her census information. I had a question of what was Katie's actual name, like her legal, legal name. It's different on each, on every paper I have for her. And I'm going to take you through that so you can see. So this picture of her right here, I got off of this picture of the Wilhelm family. This is her right here. And I used the MyHeritage site to use their artificial intelligence to uh, make it uh, crisper and clearer. And so we've got a, a picture of what she looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, Catherine Margaret Maxey was born January 9th, 1866 in Denver, Colorado, in Arafo County. She died December 20th, 1911 in Hemet, Riverside County, California. So the first census I have for her is the 1870 census. And she was four years old. And on this census, they have her name down as Catherine with a C. And this over here is the typed up information from the census themselves. So you can come back, you can pause and look this over. And we'll go ahead and go into the census and then you'll be able to pause and look that over a little bit more too. So here we are in the 1870 census. And I'll take you over the top first. So, City of Denver, in the county of Arafo, which I probably should know how to say that, and I don't. Colorado. This was done on the fourth day of June, 1879. And I don't know how familiar everybody is with censuses. They're all kind of the same, but each, every 10 years they do have small changes. So on this one, they have the, um, the number of the house, uh, the families numbered in the other of visitations. I have no idea what that would mean. And there's where they put the names of everybody and their age and if they're male or female and what color they are and their occupation, how much their home's worth, how much their personal items were, the place where they were born, the place of their father, their mother, and if they were born within the year, they want to know what month here, and if married within the year, they want to know what month, and if they've gone to school, and if they cannot read, and if they cannot write, and whether they're uh, deaf, dumb, blind, insane, or idiotic. <laughs> and then over here on 19, male citizens of the U.S., 21 years of, or older. And the last one is male citizens of the U.S., 21 years of age and upwards whose right to vote is denied or abridged on other grounds than rebellion or other crime. All right. 1870. They're laying down the law. Where are we? Here we are. All righty. This is, this is Katie's dad, John, John Maxey. He's a blacksmith. And her mom, Anna. And here's Katie here. Catherine with the C. And then we're going to go to the 1880 census. This is going to take a long time. I'm wondering if I should speed this up somehow. Well, you can go ahead. I'll just go through the rest of the, cens the censuses right now. And we'll look at her name. And you can pause them and look at them more. So on this uh, 1880 census, it has Kate. She's 14 years old. So maybe she's decided she doesn't want to go by Catherine and she wants to go by Kate. And I'll 
Oh, this one actually told. This one has that information. It's all squished up, but it's there. And through the other one, you should be able to make sense of that. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll in slowly. And you can see there's Kate. blacksmith. Her dad's a blacksmith. Alrighty. And then we're going to go to the 1900 census. And they have this as Mary Kay, but in the census you'll see that she put her maiden name as her first name. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I'll just uh, scroll down here slowly for you. And this is all the household members. Okay, this has that chart at the top. Boy, I wonder if that's been at all on all of them. I'm just now noticing it. So I'm going to scroll in. I'm going to scroll in real close in case you're on your phone. See, they she put Maxi. Maxie K. So uh, she put her maiden name. I don't know why. Oh, I can't hardly fit every. There we go. Everybody's in there now. So Lewis and Katie, Teresa, Lewis, Laura, Carl, Mary, and then the people that helped them at their house. They had a cook and two servants. Peter, William, and Juan, and I believe I remember them in, in the story. You'll hear about them in the story. So I'm just going to scroll over. Okay, so that's the 1900s. and she has Katie. And again, I'll go over it slowly so you can uh, pause it. Right at the top. Oh, you know, I don't think I let I showed the top of the census for the last one. I'll try to remember to do that from now on. That's what it looks like on the very top. So here they are, and she puts herself down as Katie. And she gave the information that WF means that the wife gave the information to the census taker. She's had 12 children and all of them lived. And they've been married 17 years. Now, I did notice that um, on this immigration for Lewis, it says 1881. On the other census, on his census video, it said that he, he immigrated in 1885. So that's something I'm going to go over more. Okay. So we're going to go here to this um, California County birth, marriage, and death records from 1849 to 1980. And I'm not sure whose uh, birth certificate this is, but Katie did put her name as Katie. It's not Katie's birth certificate or birth record. She's the parent. So we have the father, Lewis, and the child is just <laughs> blank Wilhelm female. 
1896. Well, I wonder if that's Teresa. I'm not sure. And then Katie. It has her last name wrong, Murphy. Eighteen ninety six. We can look real quick. Eighteen ninety six. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. Laura. That's Laura's. Uh... All right, what's this? Marriage. This is their when they registered for their marriage, Lewis and Katie. Let me see over here. So they mark this with the woman. They want to know the woman's name, who got married, who they married, and the date. Katie Maxey on line 21 married Lewis Wilhelm May 10th, 1892. So she's Katie on there. So uh, on this California Death Index, it has Catherine without an E. December 20th, 1911. She was 46, says. Here she is, Catherine. But I looked at this a little while ago, and uh, it has the death date as 11-27-08 or 09. So I don't really know what to think about that. What is the top of this? What is this number for? Their age. Age. Does that look like it says age? I can't zoom it in anymore. Let's see how old it says. Catherine. Catherine, right here. Catherine, 47. I don't know. I don't know if that says age. I think this is her, but historical newspaper birth, marriage, and death announcements. View image. Wilhelm at Hemet. Miss Catherine M. Wilhelm, a native of Colorado, aged 40 years. Uh, funeral Saturday at 9 a.m. at Pollers of the Booth and Boylson Company, number 1147, South Flower Street, thence to St. Joseph's Church, where services will be held, interment at Calvary Cemetery. Right here, Wilhelm. And on here, it has her name with a K. And this is Katie's headstone. And it's spelled with a C. Catherine. The way her mother spelled it on the first census that we looked at from when she was four years old. So, it's a mystery. I'm guessing that her mother wanted it spelled with a C. And when Katie got older, she wanted it spelled with a K. It's, this has been really fun for me. I'm looking forward to doing the next video, and I hope you're looking forward to watching. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, so it remains to be seen. Take care, have a great day, and oh, hit the like button, the one that looks like a thumbs up. It lets me know if you guys are enjoying this, and also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. I read my comments. so. Uh, 
if you want me to dive deeper into somebody or if you've seen something and I didn't click on it and you want to see more, leave me a comment and let me know and I'll make a video. Alright, have a great day. Bye.